What's going on everyone? My name is Rich. This is Theme Park Motivation and today I just want to talk a little bit about Hershey Park and some of the construction going on. Give you a couple of updates on just some things that were brought to my attention. If you have any thoughts regarding some of the construction, feel free to comment below. I always love reading everyone's comments. So in a previous video that I did about predictions for Hershey Park and their future, I mentioned about Tidal Force. I want everyone to take a look at the grates. They look like they were freshly painted. However, I had to go back and look at some of the footage from quite a few months ago and I noticed that it was painted probably at the beginning of the season. I still do believe they will be replacing this ride very soon. I really want to talk about some of this construction going on. At the beginning of the season, the Sun Magazine reported that Hershey Park was probably adding an SNS Scream and Swing. We don't know this to be fact. I'm not saying it's a fact either. I do believe it is an SNS Scream and Swing, and I think it's a wonderful fit. However, looking at the plot of land that Hershey Park has to work with, and the numerous signs that are up, one says construction is in full swing, the other says, don't mind us, we're twisting things up. Now Hershey Park has always been known to throw little clues out there. An SNS Scream and Swing takes up a good bit of space. I really think that they're gonna go with the style that has the compressed air tanks below the platform that the swings sit on, much like Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Finnegan's Flyers. Now we all know that Hershey Park doesn't have a lot of space to work with. However, this particular area is pretty sizable. You could easily fit multiple rides in here. And I really think that with the little clues that they left us, construction is in full swing and we're twisting things up. Here's a thought. What if they're adding two rides in this location? I definitely think there's enough space for it or possibly a relocation of a, another ride that's somewhere in the park to free up some space for something else. So if it were to be an SNS Scream and Swing, I think it would be the model that's roughly 62, 63 feet in height and has a length with the station of about 80 foot long. From the pathway right in front of Coal Cracker all the way to Spring Creek is roughly 200 feet. So they definitely have the space there. I came up with my numbers by looking at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Finnegan's Flyers. This is the model I believe that Hershey Park will be using size-wise. And as you can see, with the station all the way back, like I said, that's roughly about 80 foot, and width is about 60 foot. I definitely believe if they go this route, they're definitely going to use a raised platform of some sort because of the flooding that sometimes happens at Spring Creek. If you know Hershey Park, you know that they love to jam pack rides into small areas and they do an excellent job, probably better than any park. That being said, I want to know what everybody else thinks. Do you think we could see two rides? Please be sure to comment below and as always, thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like.